now we're going to sway around and come into our boat posture. Okay, so in boat, I want that back lifted. We always want to protect that lower back. And so part of the way you do that is keeping those abdominals engaged. Okay, and we've got the knees bent. You can have your feet flat on the mat or you can lift your heels. And then we're going to pull the underside of our legs for support, but we're nice and lifted here. We're gonna inhale. And God says he will grant wonders in the heavens above and the earth below. Big inhale. Now exhale, we're gonna round that back, pull your belly button into your spine, feel that great stretch across your shoulders. Drop your chin to your chest, that feels so good, I don't wanna move. <laughs> Lift. Pull that belly button into your spine. Inhale, exhale. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Okay, we're gonna hold it here for a moment. And the sun will turn to darkness and the moon to blood. Inhale, lift. We're gonna straighten those legs. And we're gonna do a re we're going to do our reverse sit up here. We're gonna inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna round our back. Pull that belly button into your spine. Go back as far as you can with the arms up. But then bring your hands down to the mat for support and drop down onto your forearms. And let's come back up and do that again. Abs engaged. So we're here. If you feel comfortable and your back's and nice and secure. Try lifting one leg. But I want you to keep that back lifted, abs engaged. And do that for a couple of breath cycles. Just takes that strength to the next level. Big inhale, exhale, let's lower that foot. And now we'll do the other, inhale. option of lifting both legs. Big inhale, exhale, and let's drop one foot down at a time. There we go. And lower back down to your heels. Okay, and if you could do that, you might want to try the next option. So up under those heels. Don't forget that core. That's so important. I'm going to lift the leg, and then I'm going to extend it. Doesn't that feel great? Actually, for me, that feels easier than the other way. Big inhale. Exhale. Keep that lower back lifted. That leg starts to shake, that's good. Okay, now bend the knee and take it back down to the mat and let's do the other side. Inhale, exhale, extend. Keep those shoulders back and down, abs engaged. Big inhale. Point that toe, when you point that toe, it engages all those muscles in your legs. Last one. Exhale. Bend that knee and lower that foot down to the mat. So we're here. I'm going to extend those legs before 
the glorious day of the Lord shall come. Let's go back up and do that again. And the sun will turn into darkness and the moon to blood before the glorious day of the Lord shall come. Inhale. We're going to lift back up. Reach forward and round your back into a forward fold. This is just when the workout feels heavenly. Doesn't that feel great on your back? Did a couple of breath cycles there. We're gonna roll up and have a little bit of fun here. I'm gonna show you a holy fit roll. So bend your legs. We're coming back up into our boat. Here, our hands are grabbing the back side of your legs for support, abs engaged. And you're gonna roll back and come back up. You can cross your legs right here if you'd like. And this is a great abdominal strengthener also. We're going to side saddle around and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And come into our shield posture. With our shield, we have our knees right under our hips, flat back, long neck, shoulders over our wrists, our fingers spread wide. And then we're going to shift that weight forward and then just come down a little bit and do that again. And everyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And do that again. And then we're going to shift that weight forward and then just come down a little bit. I want you to feel it in those triceps. And then you're going to lower one arm, side saddle, straighten those legs, roll onto your belly. You're going to bring those hands down by your ribs and then lift the head and chest as one unit. And everyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Let's do that one more time. We're going to roll back around and get into our boat. And we're going to do our holy fit roll. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Isn't that awesome? Come all the way down. I'll bring that forearm up. Roll over. Pull those knees up and we're going to do our side selah and reach forward. We'll feel that great stretch. I want you to be comfortable here. I'm going to do is we're going to do that same on the other side because I want you to make sure that you get a good stretch on both sides. And when I'm doing all this swinging around, my abdominals are engaged. Forearm down at a 90 degree angle and reach forward. And everyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. We're going to walk back up and we're going to go into our rock posture. So you've gotten a great workout. 
We've stretched, we've strengthened, and now we're gonna let our body restore itself. Let's straighten those legs and we're going to do our reverse sit up. Inhale, exhale, round that back. Hands down to the mat, drop to your forearms, and then go all the way back. If you're not comfortable this way, a lot of times bending your knees and putting your feet flat on the mat will help take the pressure off your lower back. But I want you to completely relax. Let your palms, your arms roll over with your palms up. If your legs are straight, just let those legs flop open. I just want you to completely relax. Let's do a little checklist. Relax your head. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyes. Relax your cheeks and your mouth. And then I've already hit a couple of areas where you were holding tension and you didn't even realize it. Relax your chest and your shoulders. Relax your hips. And oh, relax your arms, your hands, your fingers. Relax your legs and your feet. Just really relax. Stay there for a few minutes. And I just want to share a little bit with you about the scripture.